Cities are both the present and the future of the planet. We have over 50% of people living in cities today. In the next 20 years, we're going to get up to 70% of the population living in cities. MasterCard expects to be and hopes to be the key to the smart city. So everything from where you work to live to play, how you educate yourself, how you go about a city. Let's take what everybody knows as the current, you know, more narrow definition of a smart city, which involves transportation. MasterCard has done excellent work in London and other cities like Chicago around the world to really make transit open loop. Now, why is this important? You know, for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, that daily interaction really builds the habit of using the car to using the phone to move around the world. Second of all, from the perspective of the local government, they save money in terms of running their network on an open loop basis. And I think the final thing I would add is that we're evolving that de definition, not just to payment, but using data with some of our partnerships to really um, replan your travel. By giving them new information, we can tell them, take this bus, take another train, and therefore limit the peak number of passengers traveling. Smart city is much more than transit. There's education, how do we get government benefits to people? How do we help in partnership with universities education? How do we assist commerce? How do we get retailers to send? It's really the full experience. One doesn't wake up in the morning and say, I'm only going to do one thing. You're living your life. You want to get to school. You want to get to work. You want to have lunch. You need to buy something. MasterCard plays a part in every single role today. And the idea is to stitch that all together seamlessly, be it on your mobile phone or on a card.